Hello dear students and welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about the main idea that I will cover in week 15 for the pre-calculus course. After we finish the main ideas for finding the limits for different functions using different techniques, now we will relate this idea, which is finding the limit, with a new concept, which is the derivative. The first thing that we will do, we will find the derivative of different functions using limit techniques. After that, we will start by providing the rules for the finding the derivative of different functions. Starting with polynomials, let f of x equals x to the power of n. The derivative for this function is n x to the power of n minus 1. We will prove this uh, rule using the definition of the limits. After that, we will move to the exponential function e to the power of x. And we will see that the derivative of this function is the same as the original function, which means that the derivative of e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x. And again, we will prove this result by using the limit definition. Then we will move to the len function, which is the natural logarithm. We will find out using the definition of the limits that the derivative of len x is equal to 1 over x. After that, we will move to the trigonometric functions, sine x, cosine x, and tan x. Also, by using the definition of the limits and the trig identities that we already learned in the trigonometry unit, we will find out that the derivative of the sine x is equal to cosine x, the derivative of cosine x equals negative sine x, and the derivative of tan x equals secant squared x. And the final function that we will find the derivative for is the functions that are written in the form of a to the power of x, where a is a constant. We will find out that the derivative of this function is equal to a to the power of x, then a. Thank you for listening, and I can't wait to see you in the class.